don't know yet, but we wrote the Legend Trilogy. Uh, She's the author of the new series, The Young Elites. Yeah. The second book is coming out soon, this year. Mm -hmm. October. We just did the cover reveal. If you missed that, you should go check it out. We played Book Pictionary. Yeah, it was pretty epic. It was. So The Young Elites is really different character or mm -hmm. protagonist-wise than the Legend Trilogy. And I was wondering what inspired you to go that anti-hero route. Mm -hmm. She's really dark. <laughs> She's a little bit dark. She is definitely darker than Day or June from Legend. Yes. <laughs> and I, you know, I started off writing this book thinking that I was going to write a story about a standard protagonist, like a hero. But it, I wrote like a hundred pages of it and it just wasn't coming together. And I gave it to my agent and my agent is very, very awesome, but also very blunt. She's like, this is, this, this is not good. I think her exact <laughs> words were, you know, when you gave this to me, did you think that it was good? <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> I asked her what she did like about the book, and she said she liked that this side character in the story, who was actually the villain at the time, was this girl named Adelina. Oh, like the main she villain? Was very, the she was one of the main villains. She was actually my favorite character to write about because I have a tendency to go towards darker stories. And she, my agent was like, you know, tell me a little bit more about this character. And I said, well, you know, I had a really fun time writing her. She's a main villain. Um, and just sort of offhand, my agent was like, no, maybe you should make the book about her since she's the most interesting one. Yeah. And that was what got it started. So I just threw away the 100 pages and started it over from Adelina's point of view. And, and that's how it became a villain story. Just reading the beginning, I was just like, whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little weird writing yeah. from her point of view because I was like, oh god, I need to go hug my dogs or something because <laughs> this girl is so dark. Was yeah. there any specific villain that kind of inspired you? She really reminds yeah. me of Walter White in a lot of ways. She's got a little bit of Walter in her. You know, she <laughs> was originally inspired by Darth Vader. Ooh, um, nice. So very Vader-esque uh, teen girl version of Vader, I guess. Very cool. Yeah. Was she the most fun to write out of your, was it like funner than day in June or do you still... Hold oh, it's them. hard. It's hard to say. Yeah. She's so different. Um, you know, I can't even say that she gave me more trouble than Day and June because June was incredibly hard for me to write. Mm. Um, she and I had nothing in common. <laughs> uh, but Adelina is definitely the most unsettling of the three yeah. of because I'm so used to being in good people's heads. Yeah. And Adelina, you know, she tries, but she's not <laughs> altogether good. She's got some dark thoughts in there. Um, and that was a little bit disturbing to explore, but yeah. it was interesting because of that. And yeah, definitely. I, how many books are there supposed to be? There's gonna be three. Okay, so yeah. have you finished the third book? Are you ready right now? Um, I am in the super early stages of starting book three, and okay. I'm on the tail end of revisions for book two. Okay, so, so still revising book two. Yeah, so we're over the hump, but now, you know, I don't want to get too optimistic because the third book in the Legend series was by far the hardest one that I had to write, so yeah. I have a feeling it will be the same. With this one. The end of Champion, did you know it from the beginning? Of I did the not know it from the okay. beginning. No, I almost never know anything from the beginning. <laughs> I think I figured out Champion about halfway through Prodigy. Okay. That's when it all kind of clicked together for me. But before that, I was just like, conflict will happen in book three. <laughs> we'll see. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh god, the end of Champion. <laughs> Memorable. Do you have a favorite scene that you've written so far in the Young Elite series? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I had a really fun time writing Raphael. Oh, I love Raphael. Who, He's definitely he my favorite. He was very, very fun to write. <laughs> he kind of surprised me because I don't think I meant for him to be in a book, but he sort of evolve on his own. So there's a scene where he takes Adelina underground and he's showing her the catacombs underneath yeah. Estensia and he takes her to this area in the catacombs that opens up into the canals. They have this quiet little moment together where they're kind of friends, maybe, sort he of, and he sings surprise. for her. And I like giving Adelina that moment of peace, but yeah. she kind of also knew that it wasn't completely <laughs> peaceful because we have also seen Raphael's point of view and what his thoughts, yeah. real yeah. thoughts are behind their friendship. Just so many lines where she's like, oh, power. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my god, calm down. I'm like, You're scary. It's so awesome. <laughs> the only other time that I feel like I've read in a YA novel, such a dark main character, and she's not even the lead. Have you read the Throne of Glass books? I read the first one. Okay. And, oh, I read the first one and the short stories. Okay. I haven't yeah, read the short stories awesome. yet. 
the oh, third so one, she introduces this character. She's just a complete oh. bitch. <laughs> and it was just really, it reminded me of that. But, oh, I have to read the yeah. third one. I gotta catch up. <laughs> Where do you picture um, the young elites kind of taking place if you had to in our world? It's like a warped version of Venice. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I was a big fan of Assassin's Creed 2, okay. which is set in Venice and Italy and Rome and such. And so I could not picture him right. Do you have any actors cast in your mind when you were thinking of them? I don't know. I, I this is I'm so bad at this question. <laughs> I've never been able to properly picture actors in my head for anyone. He's just one of the, he's like a dark brooding Italian southern <laughs> Italian gentleman. <laughs> he's hard because like his yeah. red hair throws me off. It's like a dark blood red. It's almost black. Okay, so it it's kind like of a shines red in the light. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Things. It's not like 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 red. red. <laughs> Not like Ronnie is okay. Do you have a favorite anti hero in like pop culture? Loki is a pretty good one. Oh, I love him. I yeah. love Loki. Who doesn't love Loki? <laughs> what can you tell us about the next book, The Rose Society, mm. and from there? <laughs> Let's see, what can I say? It centers around Adelina again. Okay. So you are going to see from her point of view again. There are some new elites that come into the picture. Adelina continues her fall from grace. Uh, it's very much the Empire Strikes Back of the trilogy, where it starts getting darker. It was harder for me to write than the young elites. Way okay. harder. There are some new boys, and there are some Interesting. Um, new relationships going on, good or bad. I'm really excited about this say, new character. She seems yes. really kick-ass. She is in this book. <laughs> yes, she kicks some ass. And... Other people might get their asses kicked. That's giving a <laughs> terrible description, guys. Well, um, you know, spoiler yeah. free is hard. <laughs> yeah, Adelina continues her march into darkness. Is she gonna form her own yes. crew? I you probably can't say. She but, like, it seems does get book. some allies. Um, won't say how and I won't say who. Yeah, I don't know what happens to her in the third one, but it <laughs> gets darker. I'm excited. I'm <laughs> sure they're gonna be really dark and fun to read. Now that we're in tune with Adelina, I think yeah. just, it's so much more fun to just ride her wave, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, like, because there was, like, that initial shock. And I was like, like what is wrong with you, girl? Done. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Thank and you. We're all excited for the Rose Society and uh, for the third book. It doesn't have a name yet, right? It doesn't have a it name yet. Have a name yet. I don't even know what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Definitely check out Marie Lou's books if you haven't yet because I love them. I've got book talks on all of them if you need synopsis and such. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!